Can David Benavidez and Kayla Plant be fight of the year? Man, hell no. What? Maybe. Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Jay. And I'm B. And this is Our, our Two Sits, where we talk everything boxing and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. In today's video, we will be discussing the David Mexican Monster Benavidez versus Caleb Sweet Hands Plant Fight. What do you think about that fight? I think it's going to be a great fight. I think it's one of the true 50 50 fights that we have uh, coming up this year. And uh, I think that it's going to be a lot more, it's going to be a lot more competitive than everybody thinks until one of them gets knocked out. So, <clears throat> does it have the opportunity, could this possibly be fight of the year? Do you see this with fight of the year potential? Is this truly a 50-50 fight in your two, pin in your two pins? My two cents. <laughs> Just to give your two cents. Give my two cents. In my two cents, I think that uh, I think that Caleb Plant is a higher level fighter than any fighter that Benavidez has faced. I can agree. I think that he has way more hand speed than anyone else that Caleb. I mean that Benavidez has faced, and I think he has a lot more footwork. Um, working with his new trainer. He's been sitting down more on his punches, so I feel like he'll bring more power to the table also. And I don't think uh, anybody's really paying attention to him being capable of uh, also make, having a knockout. So, with that being said, the appearance of him over, over underestimating, yeah, him underestimating uh, plant, that's what it seems like. But I don't know if that's the case. I think Benavidez is a really, really good fighter. I think his, his hand speed's pretty quick. His combos is nice. Um, but he, he does just go forward. And most of the people he's fought stood there and got their ass whooped. Just stood there. I mean, like they literally didn't move around. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be more more competitive than any, his, of, his other any of his other fights. I think this is going to be more competitive uh for Benavidez is going to be able to show that he is one of those, you know, one of those elite fighters. He should start being named and, and talked about like that. And it's going to show that, hey, if if Caleb Plant wins, hey, look, I, you know, I got me a new trainer. I done reinvented myself. I think I can go out here and uh, complete the whole 12 rounds against Canelo. So I think that's what this, this the, what's at, at stake for this fight. I mean, if, if Caleb gets... Uh, Benavidez out of there, I think um, I think it's over for Benavidez as far as, you know, all that, you know, talking shit and being one of the best. And he really is. Like, it's just sad that you got to do him like that. Yeah, like in that Charlo kind of vibe, like, just not going to get the recognition until he smashed somebody with a bigger name. So, I think he'll smash uh, Caleb Plant. I think he can get the win, but I also think Caleb Plant can get the win, so... Fight of the year, though. Yeah, I I, I can see it. Fight of the year, because I don't see any other fights that are nearly as 50-50 capable. So, that's my two cents. I think uh, who's going to win, it's very hard to say. But I think, I think Caleb does really good and then probably gets dropped in... in Later in the rounds, not because he gets gassed out, but just because he gets clipped. Well, I don't know. Uh, just to give my two cents on the fight, I don't know who's gonna win this fight. Um, I feel if I really have to pick somebody, I would probably go with Benavides because of the size, the punching power, and the pressure. That was a, that's. I mean, I just I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. I don't know who's gonna win. But I guess if I had to pick somebody, it'd be Benavidez because the size, the punch, and power, and the pressure. Caleb Plant can fight. Um, he does have knockout power. But I think Benavidez has a pretty decent chin, right? We about to see. I think well, yeah, Benavidez yeah, he got does. a decent chin. 
But that's um, what I'm saying. We we ain't really seen him fight nobody that has to test his chin. He's been knocked down, but the guy who knocked him down, did he did he have a punch about it like that? Was he really a knockout artist? Like was he smoking boys with the I mean this is the this is the first fight in a while where I'm like, I don't even have a clue who gonna win. I don't even know who Yeah, who like I really I really, I don't even really know it's really who in the air. To for pick. Fight. Drop your two cents it's pretty good, in though. the comments good below thing. and let us know who you think and why is gonna win this fight. Uh, Caleb Plant, he got good boxing skill, he got good footwork, he got good hand movement, he's a good counter puncher, you mess up, he in there, pop, 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 he hitting you with the three, four, five punch combo. And then he out of there. And then he out of there. Can he get clipped? I, see, I can see him getting clipped. I can see him getting clipped. Ain't that what happened with Canelo? Yeah, he got clipped with Canelo, but uh, I don't know, man. Like I said, it's, it's been a beat there. that type of elite fighter where we can put him up in the in the ranks up there with uh, Canelo. Well, I mean, I guess like, that's why he's fighting Clint, to see if he can get clipped. That's why he's fighting Clint right now, exactly. To that's see, and, and he, you know, he knows his resume is the best. Probably the best he's been trying to get those fights. Yeah, and I'm wondering, is, is it really a case of people just not wanting to fight Canelo? Maybe they just don't want to fight him. Yeah, because he really, he really looks like a monster. Yeah, he does. Is it really a case of people just not wanting to fight him? Yeah, because he really, he really looks like a monster for sure. It ain't nobody. I ain't listen. I'm only saying what he is, you know, when I talk about his record, I'm just saying what it is. I'm not saying what he wants. Cause I've always heard Benavidez talk about how he want the big fight. I ain't never seen him not get want the big fight. I ain't never seen him be like, nah, I don't want to fight that person. I've never heard it. So, just, just my, you know, what I've been experiencing. So, Benavidez has more to lose than Plant by losing this fight. Yeah. He got, do he got belts now? Who? Benavidez. And that's another thing, we act like Benavidez wasn't a champion though. Yeah. He lost his own, he lost his belts on the scale. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know man, this He is... said, he said, he told uh, Caleb Plant, he said, I am what you want to be. I'm three division, I'm three champion title holder, something like that he said. I, I think he do got belts. Yeah, he got belt. He lost him on the scale and fell in a drug test or all kind of stuff. Been to be that's been doing. So I guess his ability, if he can stay focused. Yeah, he can. He can. Smash. If he can stay focused, um, but I don't know, man. Caleb Plant. I don't know. Vegas say Ben to be that's gonna win. So I'm, been, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, my, my prediction also is going with the Vegas odds. I'm betting against the odds because I can see that this is a real 50-50 and if I win, hello. So you putting your money, you putting your money, hard earned physical cash on plant because I wouldn't. I'm not putting it on either one of them, to be honest see with you. See my eye itching, so. So what's next? <laughs> so do you think people want to see Caleb Plant versus Canelo too? And if there is a Caleb Plant versus Canelo too, does Caleb Plant win this time? Because Hell yeah, he Canelo is not the same so. Canelo. He win this time? So he wins this time. He, he catch him. He catch him being old and dusty. So then it, it, no credit. It's no credit for, for being What? Like they Canelo. don't say that. They don't say that. They say that in the moment, but when, when you retire like a... You know, when you retire, they don't they don't say that. They say look the name on his resume. They don't say he was old as shit. <laughs> they don't say that. So Benavidez fight Canelo then what? And smash the hell out of him. Can... Either way it go, Canelo, you about to you about to lose all your, your influence, homie. It's over for you. Bye bye. Well, this is supposed to be the winner. Out of these two get to fight Canelo. The so winner out of these two get to win. They get the Canelo. payday. Payday. And that's if 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 Benavidez win, let me tell you how uh, Canelo gonna act like he ain't hear that, that that Benavidez won. He be like, what? He won? Really? They was fighting? I ain't know. No, he not gonna. Watch. <laughs> <that. He already laughs> he he gonna be like, what? Up. For real? When he win? When they Saturday on the twenty fifth? Man, I was asleep that day. No, he already know what's up. Nah, he ain't trying. He ain't trying to see Benavidez from what I from what I remember. You know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to see no better be there. And then, at the same time, if he thought Caleb Plant was so soft, he would have won more rounds, which he didn't. And then, also, he would have went at Caleb Plant first before going at them other little dudes in, in the weight division. But you know, that's not here and there, you know. So does being, does being tough 
or being soft really make a difference? Hell yeah. You can be the best fighter in the world. You can have all the hand speed, all of that shit. And all the speed, footwork, dodge, slip, all that shit. So if your ass got a glass jaw, it's going to break. But am I, does Caleb Plant have a glass jaw? I don't believe so. So why he soft? I don't think he's soft. Who said he was soft? Benavidez think he's soft. Oh, Benavidez, he's fucking solid. That's why everybody's I'm soft. I'm just asking you know. though, can I not beat you because I'm soft? Does Listen. that mean I automatically lose because I'm on. soft? Listen. They say Ryan, Tank say Ryan's soft. Does that mean he about to lose because he's soft? That's what I'm asking. Can I not be a soft, great fighter? What are the fans called? Change? You forgot, huh? See? What you mean? So, Shane Mosley seemed a little soft to me. So fans, let me say, let me say. You don't think Shane Mosley seemed a little soft? Shit, that La Jolla a little soft, ain't? He? Or is he tough? What? That La Jolla what is soft? soft as a guy okay, but he was a great fighter. People. So okay, look, wait, though, hold on. So you can be soft. But Benavidez, Benavidez got the Charlo energy. But what Benavidez I'm asking is, Benavidez is like, you not it don't be matter be if I'm soft. That's what I'm saying. Soft as in your heart soft? Like, I don't... Like, I could be a, a nice guy and be whooping your ass in the ring. So, I don't know if that counts. And that's what I'm trying to ask. So, Why? yes, I could be a nice guy and whoop your ass. Because okay. uh, Shane Mosley was a nice guy and whooped everybody ass. He whooped a lot of ass. So, yes. But if you, like, soft-hearted, meaning... Like, is Ryan got, soft like, or is you he soft? you ain't got no heart. Like, for instance, so Ryan I've no I would never say... That any boxer that I could name, right? Because why would I know them if I know their name, right? Any boxer that I can name that I would think has, you know, like they, they got fear in their heart about boxing. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about fear. We're but talking about that's being, what I'm soft. Saying, being soft. Being soft. Being soft about their craft. Like they just, they ain't got enough heart to, to continue and go through it like that. They, they want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know no more. So that's what, that's what Benavidez think. He think you ain't gonna, you soft. Like I'm finna just, you just ain't gonna be able to take it. You ain't gonna be able to take what I'm dishing out because you soft. So. Now, now in, in this regard, I believe that they, he means like, kind of like what he's, what, 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 how Spence was taking it when they were saying Mikey could beat him. Like, yo, are y'all serious? Like he shouldn't even get in the ring with me. Like he's soft. Now, he didn't say that. But he could have said that in that way. And I think that's what he, Benavidez means. But like, no, Benavidez is you know, soft. I'm, I'm going to break this dude. Well, we're going to see. We're going to see how soft. I think. So I will it be a rematch? If it's a good fight, hell I can see a rematch. I can see a rematch. And then, and then this is the thing. I, like I said, if Benavidez won, win, I don't see. I don't see. Uh. Your boy Canelo trying to fight him. I see him being like, who? Who won? So will Canelo Doug Benavidez if he win this fight? Drop your two cents well, in the comments hell, below. Yeah. And let us know if you think Canelo is going to duck this fight. Duck him. Why, why, why do you think he, he would duck the fight? Like a punch. Why would he duck the fight? <laughs> why, would Canelo duck, why would he duck the fight? Why would he because duck the fight? Because... Benavidez been calling him out. Benavidez been said he could smash him. But well, this is about this is about business, though. And Benavidez no. and the, he a big. This is making Benavidez name boom. So uh, for sure it'll be worth the the. You'll have the backing, but Canelo could fight anybody. Canelo could fight anybody and still sell out and make a lot of money. Yeah, but Benavidez gonna want to make a lot of money too. But so Benavidez, you need to bring your crowd too. yeah, Benavidez gonna bring crowd. Bring you to bring your fans. He gonna that. bring. He's building even more of a fan base right now with this this fight against Plant. And the reason why it's gonna make more of a difference in how he beats Plant is because if he don't go all them rounds like Canelo did, then it's they they gonna be like, oh well, he smashed Caleb Plant better and faster than Canelo did. And then be like, oh, y'all need to put them two together in the ring. So I think that's really his purpose. I think he's going out there and he's going to try to just, you know, smash him, smash him out. Let so me. I got another question. Is Benavidez being too emotional about this fight? Or is no. he just trying to sell the fight? Yeah, I think he's trying to sell the fight. I think he's trying to sell the fight. First, I thought he was being too emotional about the fight. And I was like, I'm just going to put my money on playing because he's tripping. But then... 
After watching a couple interviews, I could kind of see he's he really doesn't like him. But he may be a exaggerating just a tad, you know what I'm saying? For the camera. Like, you know, you got to sell with But he really don't Dick like Kayla Plan. He don't even really have a, a real, real reason. They're like, so why you don't like Kayla? He's like, He's just he uh, soft, he's just, huh? He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just one of them. He just hurt, like one of them guys you just don't like. Like I just don't like this dude, man. He just, so, ugh, he just sit over there act like he's so cool, calm. He like, is, man. And you, then you get on listen, the camera, you want to. Caleb Black hang out with walk. the essays with the with the goddamn. Man, that's the, one. That's them the only essays you hang man, out with. Man, Benavidez wasn't out there. Man, where he was, where he was, he wasn't out there on the block I with, the, with you, the essays out I there, you. bouncing the cars up and down. I guarantee you, know what I'm you Jose and Dave hanging out with the, with, the, with, the, playing with, with the real. They hanging out with the cartel. That's who they hanging out hey, with. Shh. They ain't worried about no low rider Mexicans. They hanging out with the, with the real, with the real. They hanging out with the real. Just that's enough with the real. We don't worry about no low rider Mexicans. But no, so well yeah, we'll see. Right I'm excited for this fight. I can't wait. I can't wait. We we might go live stream for the fight. From the fight. Come out let us. Come out let us for the fight. Matter of fact, we're gonna live stream for the fight. Make sure you tune in to Sis Boxing March 25th for Benavidez. I mean for David Mexican Monster Benavidez versus Caleb. Sweet hand plants March 25th. I'm Caleb not sure what time out. the fight start, but you can look, look, look it up. Come join us for the party. We're gonna be having a good time. We're gonna be eating food. We're gonna be having drinks. We're gonna be laughing, loving, and living. Ooh, you like that? That was good. Damn, <laughs> girl, you came with that right now. Just right out the, the dome. dome. All right, here we go. Look though, we out of here. We appreciate y'all. Push that what? Like, subscribe. Make sure you punch that like and subscribe like, button. Subscribe, Make sure you follow us on IG, quick, like, Twitter, and Two Cents Boxing. Leave your two cents in the comments below. But let us know Just what you think cents. about the fight. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. Holla at you.